Well, thank you. Uh, I'm actually coming in from the marketing side. As I said, I'm, a, I'm not a developer myself, but uh, let me go ahead and pull up our, let's see, here we go, our slides. There we go. Should be in front of everyone. So what is the Dealer's Den? Uh, the Dealer's Den is an internet marketing uh, sales and auction platform for thousands of small businesses in the cosplay arts community. Uh, we're an established business uh, and on our website, uh, entrepreneurs, artists, and individuals can buy, sell, and auction custom and resale costumes and artwork. We exist to promote community businesses for the purpose of increasing sales and traffic. We specialize in making markets. Uh, established October 2nd, 2009 and acquired by new ownership in January 2018, we bring years of experience and organic business growth to Cardano. As a cash flow positive business with no debt, the likelihood of a successful project implementation is much higher than fresh startups rolling out today. We have an entrenched community of successful small businesses as long-term clients of our service with a little more than 28,000 total members and growing every day. We attract about 600 new accounts per month at the current pace, but with new infrastructure could easily expand operations across many new communities and interest groups. In addition to our website marketplace, we also have several outlets for advertising products to our community, including our main telegram sales channel with over 6,600 members uh, at the dealer's den and our network of partner groups, which can be viewed at network.thedealersden.com. Uh, how does this proposal meet the needs of fun too? The Dealer's Den is a platform for thousands of talented individuals and startups that need a place to promote their business and process sales. We would like to use the Cardano. Uh, we would like to use Cardano as a secure infrastructure for payments and identity, and return value to the Cardano ecosystem in the form of thousands of real-world real-world transactions. The Dealer's Den.com is a premier marketplace for displaying practical use of blockchain technology in business. By existing as an active smart contract marketplace, we are able to showcase the power and utility of Cardano-enabled peer-to-peer payment systems. Our goal is to create value for our users at the lowest cost possible, and we see an opportunity to build on Cardano that could amplify the capabilities of our service and generate additional revenue for our business and the entire Cardano ecosystem. Successfully migrating our current user base alone would likely cause a significant rise in the regular transaction throughput and volume processed by Cardano, but with new infrastructure, we will be able to confidently expand our operations and our administrative team, bringing additional value to all ADA holders. The Dealer's Den is a uh, foundation layer for many small businesses and entrepreneurs, similar to online malls such as Etsy, eBay, or Amazon. Currently, these businesses use PayPal to process and finalize the majority of transactions, but with our new platform built on Cardano, we open up new cost-effective payment rails for these businesses to transact on and features for them to utilize with no need for prior experience with blockchain systems. Stores would be created through the website interface and features built into the site would interact directly with smart contracts and cryptocurrency wallets without the need for any technical knowledge at all. Order completion is managed on chain with an administrative dispute process handled by the dealers and staff, saving community businesses thousands of dollars in transaction fees every single month. As you all know, current cryptocurrency in general is currently a highly vol volatile medium of exchange, only suitable for diehard technologists and finance professionals. But that doesn't mean that we can't use the underlying technology in business today. The Dealer's Den aims to remove volatility risk from the viewpoint of the user by transacting on the platform in a native token built on Cardano. This token will act as a dollar equivalent medium of exchange, but have the full programmability of a cryptocurrency. This allows us to build smart contracts and set rules for how these tokens operate on our platform and the transfer of them from user to user every time a transaction occurs. One of the features aims to co combat false bidding and auction boosting. Auctions will require submitting 10% of collateral with a bid to add a disincentive for non-payment. Once an auction is finished, the winner must pay the final 90% or get their 10% collateral taken after X amount of time has passed. Once an item has been paid for, the funds are held in an interim stage until the buyer has received their goods and confirmed it on the platform. Once confirmed, the funds go to the seller. If the buyer never confirms, then the seller can initiate a dispute. If the buyer never receives the item or it isn't as claimed, then he or she can initiate a dispute. The Dealers Den website has an administrative backend, which allows for viewing such disputes and making decisions. 
Administrators also have an account wallet and their keys give them the right to have a final say on disputes about who gets the money. They make a decision which gets saved in the dealer's end database and then post it on chain as a transaction to finalize the decision and move the funds to the winning party. In addition to collateral bidding, we would like to improve the way our community interacts with one another through incentivization. Plugging into an identity solution such as Atala Prism allows users to own their own data while interacting with the platform in a verifiable way to build reputation, ratings, and profile rewards. With a verified identity, project product authentication and tracking also becomes possible. Art and costume ownership can be verified through use of non-fungible tokens and transferred automatically upon sale if sold through the platform or manually if sold outside of it. With the deployment of any new project, there are inherent risks that could impact a successful implementation. Some of these risks are within our control and some are not. As of today, Gogan, Atala Prism, Atala Scan, and Native Tokens don't exist yet in, in any official capacity. As a secondary side effect of this, it is impossible to accurately estimate the total cost of this project or the total amount of time until the final launch of our new platform. While these roadblocks are difficult to navigate, we do have plans to mitigate as much of the risk as is within our control. Being early to Gogan means that we ha may have to wait for launch of these products to complete all of the de desired features and modules. Development will be contracted within the specified timeframe, but delays in product releases may push back our own timeline for completion beyond six months. Regular communication of our progress will be made publicly available, as well as any payment, uh, any payments made from our project, project Catalyst funding wallet. We strive to be as transparent as possible when it comes to your money, and as such, we are guaranteeing that 100% of every ADA made available to us as a direct result of funding from Project Catalyst be paid to experienced developers within the Cardano ecosystem to build out our platform. Should the funding received not cover total expenses, our positive cash flow business means that continued payments could be made out of operating profit until the project is completed. Should funding exceed what is necessary for all the features and modules we have described, we will commit the additional funds to new modules that enhance the platform even further and return value to our users. We are the early entrance to an amazing new social construct enabled by the cryptocurrency industry. Our long-term goal is to demystify blockchain and Cardano to thousands of individuals and businesses and showcase the value that these systems can bring to everyday commerce. In pursuing that goal, we plan to create immense value to Cardano through the addition of several hundred to several thousand real world transactions every single month. We are currently negotiating with some of the top developers in the Cardano space to reach an agreed price and timeline for this project. Regardless of the outcome of Fund 2, we are very passionate and will be pushing forward to accomplish this build in a reasonable time frame. However, if our proposal is successful in acquiring the necessary funds, we are confident that getting our project off the ground in the next six months will be a near certainty. We have included a visual roadmap in this presentation to display the phases and milestones of our project in a clear and concise way. If you'd like, I'd be happy to describe the phases in minor detail, but a written description of each stage can be found in our proposal on Ideascale. All right, you have about a minute and a half left. Let me know when you're done. Um, all that, that's, that's it. That's it, okay. nice, that's it. okay. Well done, sir, well done, okay. All right, you can bring your screen share down. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for that, David. And we will go to the um, questions from the gauntlet. And a reminder to the viewers that the proposals are linked down below. You can find the link. You can hop over to Ideascale to review the proposals and leave them some feedback, some written feedback on the proposals. And uh, there's kudos. You can hit the clap button to leave kudos for them as well. And I'll remind you again at the end of the podcast. Any questions from the gauntlet? What do we have? So David, I have a question. Um, so I checked out your website, The Dealer's Den. It looks like it's a very niche website. You mentioned in your presentation that you're cash flow positive and uh, towards the latter part of your presentation, you mentioned that it would add several hundred to several thousands of transactions per month. So what, as a cash flow positive business, why would you start accepting a volatile cryptocurrency? Is it because your customers uh, require some sort of anonymity? Do they pay with like Bitcoin? How do they transact? Why would you switch from the USD standard to crypto? So currently, uh, all of our transactions are processed through PayPal. Uh, PayPal charges uh, ludicrous fees uh, for transactions. Uh, and, and many of our, our 
transactions that, that occur on our website are in the multi-thousand dollar range. Uh, most of the costumes and artwork can range anywhere from 2000 to $17,000. Uh, so taking a 2.9% plus 30 cents out of these transactions is, is quite a hit for a lot of these uh, creators and businesses. Uh, by creating something like this, we're able to actually disintermediate from PayPal uh, to our own administrative team. Uh, we've been handling uh, transactions in between our community members for a couple of years, and uh, we, we have a lot more experience with, with the intricacies of a lot of these transactions than PayPal. It, 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 by, by allowing us to intermediate uh, instead of PayPal, we're able to give each case uh, a little bit more time and attention for uh, much less cost than PayPal currently uh, offers. So if you cut out the middleman, you save money. Yeah, we save money not only for uh, our users, but uh, we are able to generate revenue for our business, which then can go back into advertising for our platform and then further help uh, our, our own community businesses. Uh, and by transacting on the Cardano blockchain, uh, we also create transactions on the Cardano blockchain, which creates value for everyone holding ADA. Uh, we currently are big holders of ADA ourselves. Uh, our, our business holds ADA as our treasury reserve asset, and uh, we aim to grow that uh, with time. So, I mean, you mentioned the 2.9% fee from PayPal. However, 3% fluctuations are easy in ADA, like, I mean, the actual cryptocurrency is extremely volatile. So how are you going to protect yourself as a business if all of a sudden ADA just tanks off a cliff, you have a fifteen, seventeen thousand $17,000 order, you're taking fees off of that. And all of a sudden your revenue model is kind of shot if, if the price just tanks, how do you protect yourself? Well, right now we have a, a nice little uh, buffer uh, in our treasury. Again, like I said, we hold ADA as our treasury reserve asset. Uh, so we have a nice little chunk set aside for that. Uh, the token that we're creating or that we would be creating uh, is a dollar equivalent. So our businesses would send ADA to the platform or uh, they would send US dollars to a third party that then turns it into ADA and then sends it to the platform. Platform turns it into our native token, which is that dollar equivalent. Uh, and they actually transact between one another in that dollar equivalent medium of exchange. Uh, we're, we're holding the Cardano uh, because we believe in the token. We want to uh, grow our own stack of ADA. And uh, we think that uh, ADA has a, a nice future ahead of it. As a buyer from your store, if you're buying something, a costume that's worth, I don't know, $15,000, where's the, where's the buyer's incentive to actually invest in ADA to actually put forward that amount of money for an item that's delivered on your platform? I mean, so uh, the the setup of the auction itself uh, would require the seller to opt in essentially to the uh, that that side of the the website. Right now uh, on our roadmap, we have basically two websites that are going to eventually converge. Uh, and currently, uh, this would just give them optionality to say that use our 10% collateral option. Uh, they would have to pay 10% in the native token, but they could pay the rest of the 90% in whatever currency that they wanted to. They don't have to uh, use the entirety of the amount in uh, our, our token if they didn't want to use that as a settlement method. Uh, they could use cash, they could use PayPal. Uh, this is just one additional option that gives them lower fees and a little bit more security uh, over their transactions. All right. Okay, we only have 30 seconds left. I have a real quick question. What technology do you need from Cardano to plug into your web store to make it work so that people can pay NATO? What do you need, a web wallet? What's up? Uh, so currently, uh, we're going to need to build a, uh, we would need to, we would need to, to create a token, uh, a native token. Uh, we would also need to create a, a system that is uh, basically like a, a central financial hub for transactions. Um, basically, this is going to be built on smart contracts uh, that uh, link up to the auctions and uh, they'll, it, it will push users to uh, utilize different features that, that ADA can actually uh, allow and uh, 
through these transactions. Okay. Um, all right. And that's time. That's time. Sorry. All right. So you can probably finish up here, but we got to get over to the chat. So if anyone has questions, please make sure you ask in the chat. We're going to hop over there and see how it's going. Let me reset the clock. Five minutes for the questions in chat. And let's see what we got. Philippe. Uh, okay. We have a question from Imanti999. Will sellers and buyers have insurance? Disputes can get messy. Is there a document that the members need to acknowledge before buying or selling products? So the dispute process will be very similar in the way that PayPal handles disputes. Uh, the difference, the main difference being that we're actually able to handle the transactions instead of PayPal, uh, and we're able to charge a much lower fee for that service. Uh, but it's essentially an identical service to PayPal. Okay. There's a question from Cardano24. If they understand correctly, the buyer would pay. It looks like in this example, let's say they bought a costume for $15,000 as an example. Mm -hmm. And they would pay the 10% upfront, $1,500. And then after they get the costume, they have to pay the remaining $13,500. What if they do not pay? And the costume so, is already sent. So we always tell that our, our sellers to receive the full payment before they send the items. So in this case, the 10% is being held uh, for the auction as the auction is progressing. Once the auction closes, they're expected to pay the remainder 90%. Once they, ex once they pay the remainder 90%, then the item is sent uh, to the buyer. Once the buyer confirms delivery on the platform, then the funds are moved from the inter intermediary stage into the seller's wallet where they can be withdrawn. Okay, so you're already using a good business model that works on cash, and now you're just gonna use the same business model with crypto. Correct. Okay, yeah, that's kind of easy on. Thank you, Cardano24, for the question. Thank you also, who was the, let's see, any other questions in there? We have a question from Quasars and any type of consignment or rental features on your website? I'm not sure if this deals with your presentation, but I guess, I don't know, you could tie that in. Uh, no, no consignment or rentals. Uh, all of our businesses are usually uh, individual sellers or individual businesses. Uh, they'll handle their own. Uh, if they wanna have like a deposit on say a, a custom costume, then they can, we, we can build a feature in there to allow something like that for a transaction. Uh, it's all about how you build the smart contracts, of course. Uh, but for the most part, the sellers handle their side of the transaction. The buyers held their, handle their side of the transaction. We're just there to moderate, make sure that everything goes smoothly uh, and that we have uh, an active and vibrant mar marketplace for our, our users that they can trust. Okay. okay. Sounds pretty clear. You provide the buy-sell platform. All right. We have two minutes left. Any more questions in chat? There's a question about NFTs that's not related to this proposal. Um, Swifty, thank you for that. Uh, but this Rick, is... I, I learned something new today. I had no idea that people were dropping $10,000 on cosplay. Yeah. Costume. yeah. We, uh, I think our highest one so far is uh, $17,017. $17. Wow. Nice. Wow. That's a serious business. Oh. Yeah. We, <laughs> that's we, a, we, I've been to Comic-Con in San Diego. I didn't go in it. I didn't get tickets to go in. But oh my gosh, man, it was amazing. We've had a few in the last couple of years that have gone for 14,000, uh, 12,000, 15,000. We've got a lot of uh, high profile sellers on our website that are that are currently long term clients and we're yep. very grateful for them. So. Do you get busy around June, July and Halloween and New Year's? Halloween is usually the busy season. Of course, everyone loves costumes. Nice. All right. Sounds so, so it sounds like you got a really good business already going and you want to transfer a crypt. You want to bring we, we want to we want to build it on a Cardano. There yep. you go. There you go. All right. Any other questions in chat? Looks like we got everything. Oh, how much are you asking for? Tress and Tress is uh, right now. We're we're asking for two hundred fifty thousand ADA, which is roughly about twenty five thousand uh, dollars. We're not really sure what the total amount in the end is going to cost, but we're we're ready to commit uh, most of our operating profits to this if if necessary. Okay. Cool. And we have fifty seconds left. There's a question from one Sierra. What is the company vision, mission, and values? Uh, mission and values just we want to create something that lasts longer than we do uh, bring value to our community and uh, open up free free trade all across the world